cultural capital of Azerbaijan, as well as in Hakandi, a city which the separatist Armenian administration used as its capital, Ojali, Ojavent, Eldere, Adam, Jabrail, Huzuli, Zangilan, Gubadli, Lachin, and Kalbajar cities. Azerbaijani citizens who reside abroad will be able to cast their ballots at the ballot boxes to be placed inside Azerbaijani embassies. 800 foreign observers from various international organizations and countries, as well as 90,000 local observers, will monitor the elections. The seven candidates running for president are the current president Ilham Aliyev, the head of National Front Party Razi Nurulayev, the Great Order Party leader Fazil Mustafa, the Great Azerbaijan Party leader Elshad Musayev, All Azerbaijan Popular Front, A Party, Kudret, Hasan Guliyev, and independent candidates Zahid Oruç and Fuat Aliyev. The news continues on the English language broadcast of the Voice of Turkey. Pakistan is heading to the polls on February 8 to elect its 25th Prime Minister and members of the 16th National Assembly. Nawaz Sharif, the leader of the Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz PMLN, and Bilawal Bhutto Zardari, the leader of the Pakistan People's Party PKP, and the son of former Prime Minister Benazir Bhutto and Asif Al Zardari, emerge as the two strongest candidates for the Prime Ministerial seat. The Pakistan Tahrika Insaf PPI, led by imprisoned former Prime Minister Imran Khan, is also considered one of the prominent parties. According to Election Commission data, Pakistan, with a population of 241.49 million, has 128,585,000 million registered voters. 150 political parties will participate in the general and provincial elections scheduled for February 8. The last general elections in the country were held on July 25, 2018. Turkish Foreign Minister Hakan Fidan, during his official visit to Malta on Monday and Tuesday, had separate meetings with President of Malta George Orella and Prime Minister Robert Abela. Fidan was received by the Maltese President at the San Anton Presidential Palace in Valletta City and met the country's Foreign Minister at the Prime Ministry Office in Oberge de Castille. Regarding his meeting with Fidan, Maltese President Dora said on his official X account, I had the occasion to discuss several issues of international and regional importance with Hakan Fidan, Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Turkey, this afternoon, during a meeting held at San Anton Palace. Discussions on the Mediterranean, Israel and Hamas, the situation in Libya and Turkey's role in addressing irregular migration in the Eastern Mediterranean we also discussed the wide-ranging effects of Russia's war in Ukraine and recalled Turkey's role in resolving the Black Sea grain blockade in 2023. Malta's Prime Minister also posted a statement on his ex account about Fidan's visit. He said positive talks with Foreign Minister Hakan Fidan going into ways to strengthen trade ties and deepen cooperation, especially on renewable energy. Our dialogue extended to Ukraine and the Middle East. Malta's commitment persists in advocating for a lasting force and affording international law. The hatch of a space capsule carrying the first ever Turkish space traveler closed on Wednesday as part of maneuvers to undock from the International Space Station, then homeward bound to Earth. After the hatch closed at 7.25 a.m. Eastern Time, the SpaceX's Dragon capsule Carrying the four-person Axiom-3 mission crew is expected to undock at 9.20 a.m. Eastern Time. The crew is expected to return to Earth on Friday. The mission was launched from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida on January 19th on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. The AX-3 space mission crew docked at the International Space Station the next day, January 20th. During their over two-week stay on the station, Turkish Air Force pilot Colonel Alper Gezeravci and his three crewmates from Spain, Italy and Sweden were responsible for carrying out over 30 scientific experiments, about half of them by Gezeravci himself. The crew's return has been postponed several times due to bad weather. And that was the news brought to you by the Voice of Turkey.
And now, review of the Turkish press. About your colors, President Recep Tayyip Erdogan's remarks he made yesterday at the earthquake housing draw and tea delivery ceremony in the province of Kahramanmaraş. President Erdogan stated on the anniversary of the earthquake disaster, we will not forget any of our heroes who made sacrifices and reached the earthquake zone with superhuman efforts during the first days when very severe winter conditions prevailed. During the ceremony, 9,289 houses were delivered to the earthquake survivors who listed, lost their homes on February 9, 6, 2023. Star codes Foreign Minister Hakan Fidan has having said that Turkey does not want any conflict to start again in Libya in any form, whether between the east and west or including the south, adding, we have decided to reopen our consulate general in Benghazi and we will open it soon. Watan reports that in January, Turkish salmon exports from the Eastern Black Sea increased by 59% on annual basis, reaching $11 million. Sabah says the Turkish Statistical Institute, Turkstat, shared Turkey's population data for 2023. Accordingly, Turkey's population increased by 92,000.